If you've ever taken a trip to London, you've either wanted to go see Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, Abbey Road, to meet the Queen, or to distract the London Guard. You may want to add another site to go see on your trip to the capital of the United Kingdom. London has always been a city known to be home for some of the most well-known European football clubs in the world, 13 of them to be exact. In recent years, London has been discovered as an underground market for the National Football League. One of London's clubs has made strides to not only build a state-of-the-art stadium for European football, but also be the stadium that could possibly house the first American sports league franchise to be based outside of North America. An American football team across the pond could soon be a reality with the completion of the newly built stadium in one of the most famous cities in the world. In today's installment of Stadium Safari, we will explore the history and feature of Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is located in the Tottenham section in North London, England. The stadium broke ground in 2016 and was completed and opened in 2019 with a capacity of 62,850, making it the third largest stadium in England and the largest club stadium in London. The lone tenant of the ground is the Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, commonly known as Spurs of the Premier League. The construction cost of the stadium was 1 billion British pounds which is 1.353 billion in United States dollars. The previous home ground for Spurs was White Hart Lane, which they used from 1899 until 2017 when it was demolished. The plan to build a new stadium for the club was announced back in October 2008 by club owner Joe Lewis, founder of British investment company, The Enoch Group. The project would be known as the Northumberland Development Project, which included the stadium, residential, hotel, retail, and office construction as part of a 20-year agreement to regenerate the Tottenham section, which has historically been a working class area, but also one of the most crime-filled parts of London. The construction project began in 2012 and will complete in 2015 with the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium being the last piece of the development plan. From 2008 to 2016, there were delays for the project to go through. The Northumberland Development Project went through four different trials to get approval from the Hamridge Council, the District Council Group, and Tottenham. Reasons for the delay were due to buildings having to be demolished in order to clear the space for the stadium project. Another reason was also due to Spurs applying for a bid to move the team into the London Olympic Stadium after the conclusion of the 2012 London Olympics. Unfortunately, they lost a bid to West Ham United Football Club, who currently plays at the Olympic Stadium. Eventually, the project would gain full approval in 2015. The plan was to build the new stadium in segments since the stadium was going to be built on the same property as White Hart Lane. The construction process was taking place simultaneously as demolition process for White Hart Lane. Going to the 2017-2018 season, Spurs had to move their home matches to the 90,000 seat Wembley Stadium temporarily because of the final phase of the demolition process. It wouldn't be until the spring of 2019 when the stadium phase of the Northumberland development project would be complete. On April 3rd, 2019, Tottenham played their first home match at the newly built Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in a Premier League fixture against Crystal Palace in front of 59,215 spectators. Tottenham would go on to win 2-0 with the first ever goal in the new stadium being scored by Spurs South Korean forward Sun Hong Min, although this wasn't the only big inaugural event to take place at the venue. In recent years, American sports leagues have been making strides to expand into international markets from the NFL, the NBA, and the MLB. The NFL has been leading the way in international expansion by hosting neutral site regular season games in London since 2007. Games will primarily take place at Wembley Stadium until 2015 in what is called the NFL London Games. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium was built to accommodate both European football matches and American football games. On October 6, 2019, the NFL's agreement to host games at the new stadium kicked off with the Chicago Bears taking on the Oakland, now Las Vegas Raiders, which had an attendance of 60,463. The Raiders would go on to win 24-21 in the inaugural NFL game at Tottenham Hotspur. You may think that the idea of having NFL games across the pond is a gimmick in itself, but having them at Tottenham Hotspur can give sports fans a sense of foreshadowing of the future of the stadium. Enjoying the video so far? If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button for future videos. The NFL has built a strong relationship with the City of London to build an international market with one of the most popular sports leagues in the United States. At the moment, the NFL is the only American major sports league without a team in an international market. For the NBA, you have the Toronto Raptors and for MLB, the Toronto Blue Jays. Even for the secondary major sports leagues like MLS and NHL, 
there is international team representation, even if it is only in North America. NFL is using their international tours to grow an international audience, which can be the build-up to place an NFL franchise in London. Yes, an NFL team could possibly move to London, England. If we take into consideration the return on investment the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will have on the community in North London, the plan is to use the revenue that is generated from Tottenham Hotspur FC and a future NFL franchise to reinvest back into the community. It is projected that the stadium will bring in 293 million British pounds yearly while adding 3,500 new jobs. These numbers can see a substantial increase with the addition of a full-on NFL franchise being one of the tenants. Ever since the NFL began hosting games in London back in 2007, attendance has exceeded expectations both at Wembley and Tottenham Hotspur. Averaging over 60,000, 80,000 fans a game is a good sign that Londoners are highly invested in having an American football team to call their own. You can also factor in other international markets where the NFL has made marks in, such as Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, and Scotland. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has spoken in the past about moving an NFL team to London in an effort to globalize the NFL in a big European market. The NFL is also planning on trying to host games in Germany in the near future. The only red flags in the proposed plan are the travel for away teams, the time difference in Europe, and the forecasted economic value for a team. For the venue, Tottenham Hotspur has that covered. To stay on the topic of how the stadium benefits Spurs, being one of the biggest stadiums in London and the Premier League is a demonstration of how much value the club is bringing to the community. In their first season at the new stadium, the average attendance was 59,175 fans a game. In recent years, Spurs have not had much success in the Premier League. They mostly finished mid-table or just good enough to qualify for the Continental tournaments like the Champions League or the Europa League. But that is not what is holding the club back from drawing sellout crowds week after week. Aside from Spurs having just over 3 million fans in the UK, but a whopping 180 million fans worldwide, the club has built a stadium to accommodate the 21st century sports fan. For fan amenities, Tottenham Hotspur has bars in all stand sections around the stadium, 65 different food and drink concessions, and the only stadium in the world with an in-house microbrewery. In addition, it only takes 25 minutes to swap out the soccer pitch with the football field. All the more reason why the stadium can accommodate an NFL franchise. The stadium can become a once-in-generation venue for sports fans around the world. So the question is, why the holdup? Enjoying the video so far? If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button for future videos. While during the COVID-19 pandemic, it was hard to maintain and see the potential that Tottenham Hotspur Stadium has for sports fans in London. However, the 2021-2022 Premier League season for Spurs has seen a tremendous uptick in attendance with fans having the feeling of the stadium still being brand new to them. Spurs hosting European football matches will be the primary return on investment for North London. But the future of an NFL franchise for London is still a pipe dream to many. For 2021, the NFL plans to host two NFL games in London at Tottenham Hotspur, with the Atlanta Falcons versus the New York Jets and the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Miami Dolphins. Both games will most likely be sold out. The attendance rate for the NFL London games has proven that London is hungry for an NFL franchise. Tottenham Hotspur is the stadium that was built for an NFL franchise to call home. Only time will tell when a future NFL team hears London calling. This concludes today's episode of Stadium Safari. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell to find out about future videos and let me know what stadiums you want to see next. Thank you for watching, and remember, teams tell the stories, the stadiums illustrate them.